today we are going to learn a very important topic in analog VLSI design which is differential amplifiers. Differential amplifiers are useful in analog CMOS design because they represent the input stage in operational amplifiers. Remember the op amp from early circuit courses? We learned that op amps have two inputs and it takes the differential input and amplifies that differential input. So before we discuss the differential amplifiers and how they are built, let us review some basic concepts and circuit analysis. The first concept we will review today is what we call single-ended voltage. Basically, in single-ended voltage, the voltage is measured from one end or one node to ground. So if you look at this graph, for example, we have a voltage source connected to a resistor and we are interested in measuring the voltage at this node to ground. This is a single ended voltage. You're measuring the voltage from one node to ground. On the other hand, double ended voltage or differential voltage is the voltage measured across two ends or two nodes. So if you look at this circuit, for example, we have a voltage source V1 connected to a resistor R1 and the voltage source V2 connected to a resistor R2 and we are interested in the voltage between these two ends. That's the differential voltage. And you must pay attention to the polarity here. The polarity of the differential voltage VD states that the plus polarity is on the left hand side so you have to pay attention to the polarity but basically if you will use KVL you know that VD will equal to V1 minus V2 and remember that the current through the circuit is zero because it's open circuit so the voltage at one end is V1 while the voltage at the other end is V2 then VD is V1 minus V2 Another important concept in circuit analysis, and it could be new to you, but it is very important, not only for the VLSI designers, but also for the component level designers. Remember that the component level designers will use components such as the op amps, and they have to understand some of the terminologies we cover in this course, such as the common mode voltage. The common mode voltage is basically the portion of the voltage that is common at both ends of the differential voltage. So for example, I can say that V1 will equal to V common mode plus half of the differential voltage V2 over V1 while V2 will equal to V common mode minus half of the differential voltage VD over 2. And the physical interpretation of these equations is as follow. If you have a circuit, like the circuit shown, you can see that we have V common mode at the bottom and this V common mode is shared for both ends. So you can see that one end says that I have V common mode plus the voltage source here which is VD over 2 and on the other side I have V common mode plus this voltage source but this voltage source is minus VD over 2 and remember the current is zero so the voltage across the resistors is zero now when you calculate VD in this case you know that VD will equal to V1 minus V2 and when you plug in the equations for V1 and V2 if you subtract V1 minus V2, you end up with VD, right? Because you have V common mode plus VD over 2 minus V common mode minus VD over 2. So this will give you VD.